Hello, thank you for joining me for today's devotion. I am Kevin Lentz, the pastor here of Trinity at Badger Ranch, and I hope you're enjoying our Monday through Thursday devotions every week, sharing God's word with you, sharing the sermons with you, sharing just what God wants us to know about him. So today on Thursdays, I always do my own devotion, and I'm working through the book of 1 Corinthians right now. We began just last week with chapter 1, so we're going to pick up this week with chapter 2. And I've got a couple of verses I want to read and talk with you about. First one is verse 2. I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. There we have that fantastic missionary, St. Paul, a very brilliant man, very highly educated, could probably have shared many of world's wisdom, no doubt about it, but he wasn't concerned about himself and showing how smart he was. He was going to share with his readers, which is still us today, what God is all about. He wasn't here to impress us with himself. He was here to impress us with who our God is, what our God has done all about for us. He makes the point very clear that God is kind of beyond our understanding. So he makes it again clear that I'm not going to share with you stuff from this world. I'm going to share with you stuff I don't even understand, but I know they are absolutely true because God has made them clear to me. So whether we understand our God or not, which none of us fully can, we give thanks for our faith in that God and how St. Paul shares that message with us. I'm going to pick up now in verses 4 and 5. And those read, My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on man's wisdom, but on God's power. Kind of very much saying the same thing in those two verses that he said in the first verse, verse 2, about how this God that he's going to share with them is a God of power. We don't rest on human power, man's power, worldly power. It doesn't compare to the great power of God. The power of this world can't raise the dead. The power of this, this world can't claim as someone for whom Christ died for. Our God is more powerful. Our God can do greater things. And so we submit ourselves to him and his power because of how great he is to us and how much he loves us as well. And so that's what St. Paul is simply saying there, that he didn't come here to impress you with his brilliance, his persuasive words, I think is exactly how he put it. But I came here to share with you the one who is beyond me, beyond my understanding, the one who is shared with the Spirit's power, the Holy Spirit's power, the third person of the Trinity's power, the power of God, making God known to all people. I want to share with you just one more verse, and that would be verse 12. We have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given us. Now, we don't like to say this, but it's absolutely true. God is beyond our comprehension. Even the cross itself doesn't make a lot of sense that the Son of God would die for us, be overcome by death in this world. And that's where we place our hope in his death. That's, again, not worldly wisdom. But godly wisdom is very different. And so St. Paul is sharing that at this time. And so he's saying, I don't care how great the world is, what the world knows about itself. I'm sharing with something with you that beyond this world, our God and his wisdom and how we are wise, even though we can't comprehend it fully, we are wise to believe and know and be familiar with the wisdom of God because God loves us and will never change and we're saved through the blood of Christ. Well, thank you for joining me uh, today and I hope you join us again next week and if you're looking for a place to worship in person, we invite you to Trinity Badger Ranch. God bless the rest of your week. Bye-bye.